What is up my Roger Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty gameplay. It's either going to be Black Ops Cold War or it's just going to be your run of the mill Warzone Modern Warfare. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is the future of Warzone. So Treyarch will be changing and adding to Warzone. Now we actually got a lot of information on what will be happening and how. So in the reveal of the multiplayer we got some... We kind of got a bit on Warzone that kind of touched on it a little with them basically saying that Warzone will be continuing in Black Ops Cold War which we already knew because a good while ago we were told that in every installment into the Call of Duty franchise we will be getting Warzone. However, Treyarch said that this will take right off from the climax in Modern Warfare's Warzone as of now we don't know when this climax will be. But we may know who or what this climax is. So during the latest intel mission at the end we actually get a letter which basically says that meeting Perseus change Imrid Zakaev's outlook on life. Now we already know we will be seeing all Cold War era weapons and vehicles. However when I say vehicles this is odd because if we look at Warzone as of now or right now we can see that there is no water. It is. It only has land vehicles and helicopters. There are no boats and there's no swimming mechanic in it either. Which we have been told we are getting in Black Ops Cold War's Warzone and Black Ops Cold War itself. Now in my personal opinion I thought that we were going to basically see a complete new map for Warzone. However in a part of the reel of the multiplayer they more or less said that we are going to be probably getting a new Verdansk map but it could potentially be set in 1980s where there is some lakes or even a big river or something where boats and the water mechanic can be used. To me I don't like this. I would love a Cold War themed Warzone map where some parts of it are Cold War Soviet Union, for example, where we have snow and mom, a load of kind of old Cold War towns that are based on Soviet Union uh, towns and like gold or even bronze statues or monuments as well. And it'd be pretty cool to see all this kind of propaganda as well and maybe have some parts of it that are also American Cold War styled as well for example the map Miami that we got to see in the reveal live stream of course we could easily see the whole map kind of a whole new map which makes more sense to me but we don't know fully as of now now they also mention your progression we already know that in Modern Warfare if you level up you actually level up your weapons and you level up your basically your levels and these will go over with you over to Warzone. So anything basically you earn in Black Ops Cold War for example weapon blueprints, operators and operator skins, weapon levels as well and your level will also carry over into Warzone. Now what do I mean? Well take Woods for an example. If you unlock woods in black ops cold war and level him up in his progression you made with him will carry over into warzone with you this is what uh, what happens in modern warfare and warzone already so this brings up the question what about all your items you've earned or bought in modern warfare black ops cold war and modern warfare will share progression but how? How can that work? From a story point of view, for example, Modern Warfare's story starts in 2019. Black Ops Cold War starts in the 1980s. Some of the characters that we even play that we have seen from Modern Warfare could potentially not be born yet or they could just be born around this time. Now, the only person that could possibly we could see is Captain Price when he was younger with the SAS when maybe he was a private or even a lieutenant just like we did in a flashback mission in modern warfare when you were saving 
Fayad, Farah, I think her name is, from the prison. This is the only logical and only person who is probably old enough that you could potentially do this with. So this could mean then we only get one map and it's Verdansk or we could get two Verdansk ma maps, one set in 2019 which we already have and one set in the 1980s like I said previously. If it ends up that we have two maps I could see Warzone giving you the option of playing on either map and or if you boot up Modern Warfare you may only be able to play Modern Warfare's Verdansk map and if you boot up Black Ops Cold War then you are playing on the Verdansk map or the map in Black Ops Cold War. So if this is the case then characters, guns, blueprints and everything that you had in Modern Warfare's and Modern Warfare's Warzone could only be in that map and then operators, guns, blueprints etc that you have in Black Ops Cold War is only for Black Ops Cold War Warzone? That seems like it makes logical sense but then you're like well what if I want to use some of them from my modern warfare and bring them over to black ops cold war I, I just i don't know if it'll happen i don't know if you'll be able to do that because story wise it would just make no sense unless they do some back to the future shit and just plant you back in the future or time travel like the avengers or or even like how the zombies did in the messed up ways they did or alternate universes i, I don't really know okay you could have a big long discussion about and then you could just go down all sorts of paths and you could be here for two or three working days now just to go back on progression they said that this is shared so what well, for example if you're level 100 in modern warfare you are also level 100 in warzone which already happens then if you are level 100 in black ops cold war is this your same level in black ops cold war warzone which makes sense but then if i'm level 100 in modern warfare am i then going to be level 100 going into black ops cold war can i play either game and level up my basic my whole level so like in modern warfare now you go up to level 155 and that's the cap but your kind of your whole record or your whole character itself or your whole level can actually go up over 300 or whatever i think mine's on 300 and something so will this be the same in black ops cold war as well it's it's kind of hard like this is what i mean like when i first saw it i was like yeah i know maybe i don't really know it's just as of now because we haven't played it or anything like that and we don't know how it's going to fully work we just don't know. We really, really do not know. I just want to touch on crossplay and cross generation as well. So, if for example I am on PS5 playing Black Ops Cold War and I have a friend on PS4 playing Black Ops Cold War as well, I can actually join them and play with them. This also works for people who are on Xbox. It's basically crossplay, but it's with new consoles as well, which is a great idea and is a lot better because lots of people nowadays don't really have that much money because of everything that has happened in the world with many people losing their job because of the whole pandemic and just stuff being held up and everything like that and economies basically near enough crashing and a lot of people aren't really going to be buying the new consoles when they first come out we could easily see maybe a couple of months down the line or even a year or two down the line when they actually do get them and this could potentially happen with black ops cold war as well people will buy the game but won't buy a upgrade to the next console generation because it'll just be too expensive now i love how there's cross generation i don't like how you have to pay like a tenner extra or whatever it is that is just really really dumb and ridiculously money whore 
of Activision to do this. Now the concern for Warzone story is that if we can use operators from Modern Warfare which is set in 2019, how can these operators play a part or even have a part in Black Ops Cold War? Do they have a time machine to send them back in time just like the zombies did like I said already? I, I just really don't know. It's all still confusing with me. I've kind of... A lot of answers were... Or a lot of questions were already answered with the Black Ops Cold War multiplayer reveal. But then we were left with more questions than answers, I think, personally. And I hope to kind of talk about them. And once the beta actually comes out, be able to give more in-depth... Uh, opinion and everything like that on stuff that we will see and potentially see in black ops cold war but yeah this is the end of the video guys i hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button is a subscribe button that you can hit to subscribe to my youtube channel beside that button is the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel or whenever i go live on my youtube channel which is rare speaking of live streams i tend to live stream on my twitch channel link to that will be down in the description below once you're there you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live over there I also have a Twitter account that I manually update whenever I upload a video to my YouTube channel or whenever I go live on my Twitch channel. Link to that will be down in the description below as well. And yeah, that is it guys. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe and peace.